Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to lovely, lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. It's going to be a bit of a short video today, like I say, I am apologizing for uh, lack of videos, lack of uploads and streams over the past two weeks that I actually injured my back and it is playing absolute murder on me. So I'm hoping just to get this little video out there for you guys, because again, we know what my opinion on Dan Wooten is and a lot of people think the same way. But we are going to have a quick look at this. So, Dan Wooten. He breaks his silence on why he left GB News after show breached to broadcasting rules. But he's also come out and said that he's now sorry for getting involved in the Johnny Depp and AH situation. Which is absolute BS. Because he was one of the named people in the lawsuit. It was actually against him. The UK trial. It was Johnny Depp versus Dan Wooten and The Sun. They were both named. And him now saying he's sorry because, you know, evil exes and all this kind of stuff where, oh, an ex-partner said some horrible things about me, but they're lies. He's now like, I know how Johnny feels. That's how he's trying to come across. And sadly, there's some people who are like, oh, he said sorry, that's okay. He said that he was duped by her. Yeah, that's okay. No, it's not. No, it's not, because in the leaked audios between Johnny and A.H., all the audio samples and everything else, she says sorry to him countless times. Do you believe those sorries? No. Because you can't. Because they are just empty sorries, which is exactly what he's doing here. But with this one by here, you know, he breaks his silence on why he left GB News. I want you to remember that little part by there, okay? After the show breached broadcasting rules, he was taken off air and suspended following Lawrence Cox, Cox, Lawrence Fox, well he is a cock, his comments made on his GB News show about female journalist Ava Evans last year. Former GB News presenter Wooten has confirmed he will front a new independent with no censorship, which will be the renegade and authentic voice of the people. No, Dan, you're only going to voice people who follow your opinions and basically, the ones who have opinions against you, you drown them out. You speak over them. You shout over them. You did that on GB News. And a lot of times, you could see people were getting frustrated and angry. If they said, well, I don't agree with you, you would just sit there and you would look like an angry child who was taken off the monkey bars and put on the side because you'd be naughty. That's what you look like because, no. I'm not having that. That's exactly how you look. Anyway, we're getting off topic. But it goes on to say about, obviously, he announced his new move following his exit from GB News after being suspended in September. The 41-year-old presenter was taken off air after his show and uh, his guest, Lawrence Fox, made what Ofcom referred to as unambiguously misogynistic comments about Ava Evans live on the show. Lawrence and Dan apologised for the offence caused but were both later suspended. And if you remember, Dan's actual apology was, I didn't know what to say. I was gobsmacked. I didn't know Lawrence was going to say those things. And he threw Lawrence under the bus. Then, about two hours after Dan put out his, uh, his little sorry speech, Lawrence Fox was like, no, Dan actually knew exactly what I was going to say. GB News knew exactly what he was going to say because he messaged them and then they were like, Dan was like, oh, you can, I could just picture all their faces when we were talking about that. It's so funny. Dan Wooten knew what was going to happen. And him saying that he was uh, speechless and all this kind of stuff, and he didn't know what to say, that's coming from a man who in the last decade and a half has spewed nothing but vile. You know? And someone like that, it doesn't just go, oh, I didn't know what to say. I was... I was gobsmacked. I didn't know what to do. You knew exactly what you were doing, Dan. And that's why you tried going, oh, no, no, no. But, you know, but, but she is okay, huh? No. Last week, the journalist confirmed he was no longer a part of GB News and will be launching a brand new daily news and opinion show, which is not regulated by Ofcom. I believe is actually going to be on Rumble. He spoke further about his platform and hit back at those who criticised him about his exchange with Lawrence, as well as the separate allegations against him, which he's been cleared of. 
And now he goes on to say that, uh, you know, he's been uh, free to share his story now because the police have, uh, they've said, no, we're not investigating you anymore, blah, blah, blah. But there's one thing I want to see here. Remember at the start when I said that, you know, he says, oh, why I left GB News? When someone says that, they, they it's basically saying, well, I left them, they didn't fire me. So why would he say cancel culture won in the end? If cancel culture won in the end means you were fired. Means that GB News would have caved into the pressure of Ofcom and as he says, the far left or whatever. It's like, yeah, they're the ones who got me fired. They're the ones who cancelled me. If you were cancelled, you were fired. You know, but we did a video back in, I believe it was uh, around October time when we actually uh, found out that he was actually fired back then. And it's kind of interesting because only recently he was awarded £113,000 in shares for GB News. That sounds like a company that you want to get rid of. And, you know, I don't want to be anywhere near them. Oh, they caved. Give the money back then. No? Were you fired? What was it? You know, it's just so many things going on. But another thing as well I want to have a quick uh, chat about is when he goes on now saying about the uh, the criminal allegations that were against him, which, again, was all true. You know, everything that has come out about those were true. Because, again... If he's, you know, he had his lawyers going around saying, oh, you can't speak about him because he's under a criminal investigation. His lawyers saying that he's under a criminal investigation just proved everything was going on. That literally, yes, he is being investigated by the police for doing criminal acts. That's exactly what it is. But again, no, he wants to spin it and be like, everyone was against me. Well, if it took six months for them to investigate, and they also had over 30 pages of evidence, emails, videos, all this kind of stuff, even people who was involved, who Dan Wooten supposedly paid to go and do all this stuff, you know? But, how of everything? It's this part by here. He was exonerated in two investigations, one by the Metropolitan Police in London, and the Scottish police, which is interesting because no one knew the Scottish police were investigating him. No one knew. Not even Byland Times, because Byland Times, last week when Dan Wooten said, oh, I've been exonerated by the Scottish police and the Metropolitan, everyone was like, the Scottish police are looking into him? What's happened there? No one knew, you know? But it does go on, because obviously he goes on about that, that uh, the huge damage was done because these days, the process is the punishment. With social media acting as public executioner. So with that one there, Dan, with you saying, oh, anything you put out, people will automatically believe now. You put this out in 2018. How can J.K. Rowling be genuinely happy to cast Johnny Depp in film? You put this out there. You know? He'll probably uh, come to his bold opinion part that he put by there. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's my opinion. But the thing is, though, Dan, you're now saying you're sorry and that you apologize because an ex has said horrible things about you, which had the police investigate you for. But you're saying now because what A.H. said, oh, I don't believe any of that now. She duped me. No. Dan, this is you. This is what you've been doing for the last 15 years. And it doesn't end with Johnny Depp and J.K. Rowling. We've seen you put out so many things where Cheryl Cole, Caroline Flack, who's no longer with us, you've done it to so many celebrities Hell, you even had that one guy who came out recently who said, yeah, Dan Wooten tried doing this to me. Hell, you even had a person who goes around and does private 
masseuse lessons and all this kind of stuff. And you're like, I'll pay you extra and all this kind of stuff, supposedly, you know? So you got all of this, him saying this, and then he's the one who actually printed stuff like this for 15 years. But when he says there, huge damage has been done because of this. This is what you did, Dan. You are the one. You can probably be accounted for, I'd probably say, 75 to 80% of the UK, like kind of like before social media was a thing, sort of thing, that, you know, going into the early uh, 2010s when social media really started kicking off, you were posting things like that nearly every day. And now you're like, oh, no, 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 you're guilty before anything. You did that to so many people. But there's one thing as well, which is, which is absolutely just, to me, I just can't understand how he can just be... Well, no, I can't understand because he's a narcissist. But it's with this. When he says that he always said this was a witch hunt and there was no criminality, but now that's been confirmed by the police, do you think that's enough for the left? No way. He's implying there that he basically, they're still going to try and get me. But look what he says next. One of the missions is to now ensure that no one has to go through a similar smear campaign. I mean like this. Yeah? And then he said this. Weaker people would not be here today to tell this story. What about Caroline Flack? But he goes on and then it says about cancellation is a gift. He's finally free. And that he, uh, he's, you cannot put a price on independence from interference by corporate overlords with all of this nonsense. But then another thing is, which I actually find really funny. I am your voice, your representative, not the voice of conservative politicians and billionaire businessmen. Conservative politicians. Dan, how was that GoFundMe you were set up on that conservative website? Yeah? No? How was that going? There's so many things that this guy says. It's basically saying, oh, I look at this hand here, but don't look over here to what I'm doing. That's exactly what he's doing. And he just goes on to say that, uh, he says by here, he's finally free to speak the truth. And it's without fear of the off-communist censors. This is why I had to leave GB News and go independent. My story. Yeah, but he goes on to say that... Uh, Cancel culture one. Yeah. If cancel culture one, Dan, that means you were fired. But guys, let me know what you think about this down below. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Future updates. And I'll see you all soon.